Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Ladies and gentlemen, on my channel, I'm always telling you guys, live an active lifestyle, make smart nutritional choices. And as you guys know, if you follow my channel, I have two aspects of my channel, right? There's two sides to my channel. There's a fitness aspect of my channel, and there's also the, the sports aspect of my channel, right? Sports and fitness rants, right? And I literally rant about both kinds of topics. But if you know, and you know my channel, then you know I keep them completely separate. The basketball, the sports aspect, my rants is a completely separate entity from the fit fitness aspect of my channel. Two different things. Some people don't even watch any of my sports stuff. They just watch my fitness stuff. Some people just watch my sports stuff. They don't watch my fitness stuff. And some people watch both. But today, there's gonna be a little bit of crossover between both of these aspects of my channel. And I wanna talk briefly about my energy levels and a lot of the LeBron James fans that are you know, really tuned into my basketball aspect, my sports side of my channel, they accuse me of using drugs. They love to use, uh, accuse me of using drugs. They love to say, oh, this guy's crazy. This guy's unhinged. This guy's on cocaine. This guy's on this, this guy's on that. I've even been accused of using steroids on my basketball uh, sports uh, side of my channel. These people are so weird. And we need to talk about this because once again, this is what I'm always alluding to on my channel, ladies and gentlemen, is the excuses for the LeBron James fans. It's an excuse for anyone to accuse me of using steroids or accuse me of using cocaine because of my hyperness or my quote unquote energy. They can't explain it. That's the only way in their mind that they can explain someone having this level of energy, someone that's having this kind of intensity. Because what? We all know that LeBron James has been accused of and been, uh, have suspicion around him for using steroids. And there's much more evidence that points to LeBron James doing drugs of using steroids and things of that nature than I've ever been under. I've never been under any suspicion of using drugs or steroids or anything like that. So I want to talk briefly about the energy levels, the way that I am on the screen, the way that I project my Myself and how this is all natural ladies and gentlemen this is the way that I've been my entire life that's the one thing that a lot of people don't really understand is because they don't know me you fools out there you LeBron James clowns any of you quote-unquote haters of my channel you guys don't understand you guys don't know me man this has been me my entire life my hyperness the way that I yell on camera the way that I speak the way that I project my voice this is me from the minute I wake up, from the minute I go to bed. You can ask my friends, my family, you can even ask my wife, who I've been with for almost 20 years now. She knows how I, how I am. This is me. This is the way I've always been. This has nothing to do with steroids or any kind of drugs of that nature. This is just the energy that I get. Now, what have I told you guys on my channel? I've told you guys, a lot of people are looking for energy. A lot of people have lack of energy out there. So they're always looking for what? Energy in the wrong places. They're looking in for energy drinks, right? I told you guys about these energy drinks. Don't buy these energy drinks because that is not real sustainable energy. It's not gonna do anything for you. It's gonna make you crash out. And I've talked to you guys about what? Making smart nutritional choices. This is where you're gonna get your energy from, ladies and gentlemen. Living that active lifestyle is gonna give you the energy. This is why I have the energy that I have. Once again, I've been doing this for over 20 years plus, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't just start exercising last month or when I made this YouTube channel. I've been doing this my entire life. Once again, the parent, my parents led by example. So my mother used to be an avid jogger before she started having knee problems as she got older in her life. But my mother was an avid jogger. My mother used to jog to work, ladies and gentlemen, literally jog to work. I remember this as a child, six, seven, eight, nine years old, watching my mother leave work with her with her running sneakers on right jog to work remember i grew up in the city my mother worked in the hospital in the city so she would jog to work ladies and gentlemen spend 12 hours on her feet as a nurse and then jog home that was my mother ladies and gentlemen these are the kinds of things that i'm always telling you guys on the channel how you can inspire others around you you can inspire your children and my mother my father living the active lifestyle it's inspired me and my brothers playing sports our whole lives. It was my parents who got us into sports that kept us into sports, right? These are the kinds of things that I'm always alluding to you. I've never seen my father do a single workout, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't seen him do a single push-up, a pull-up, none of this stuff, a jumping jack. My dad never jumped a rope. My dad never went to a gym, per se, but my dad always played sports. My dad always played basketball. I used to, my dad used to take me and my brothers to watch him play basketball when we were real little. 
So I told you, I've been around sports my entire life, man. And even to this day, my dad is in his 70s and he still does his own yard work. He still mows his own lawn. He does everything himself. He chops firewood at that age. He still lives the active lifestyle. My dad does not sit in his butt all day long, right? My dad is still active at that age. A lot of people look at my father and they think he's 20 years younger than he really is. So these are the kinds of things that inspired me. So when we think about people accusing me of taking cocaine, one guy was saying I was using, uh, uh, cutting my cocaine with creatine. These people don't even know what creatine is. They have no idea what creatine does for you. They have no idea. They're looking for an excuse to explain my energy because they don't have the energy that I have and they're jealous of me. So they say I'm using drugs and steroids and things of that nature because they wish they could look like me and they wish they had the energy of me. But I've told you, ladies and gentlemen, what? The energy that you have is gonna come from living the active lifestyle. The more you move, the more you'll move, right? Move more, sit less. And I've told you guys about the nutrition. You get the energy from the food you eat. I've told you what, there's a reason why I don't eat bagels and pancakes and all these sugary cereals in the morning and all this stuff. I don't eat these things because it takes your energy. It zaps your energy, ladies and gentlemen. I've told you guys what, I don't eat big lunches. I eat carrots and peanut butter for lunch, apples and peanut butter for lunch, literally every single day. And why do I do this? Because of the energy levels that I get. When you're eating big meals and a lot of people I've told you eating too much at one time, what happens? You get very sluggish. You get that crash, so to speak. So people will eat a lunch and then they wonder why they have no energy after this, right? So that's part of the reason why I don't do these kinds of things. Once again, I listen to my body and the signs that my body is giving me. A lot of people don't do that. They don't listen to their body. They don't understand. They don't have that connection with their body. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, they're making excuses. I've been doing this for 20 plus years. I don't look like this by accident. I don't have this energy at 43 years old by accident. I have more energy, right? More fire in me than people half my age. There are people in their 20s that can't have the energy, that don't have the energy levels that I do or, or be able to do the things that I do. People can't explain how I can do the things that I do on camera and speak for 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes sometimes in some of these sports videos that I do, guys. And I'm just out there yelling and screaming, it sounds like, on my videos. And people are like, oh, this guy must be on drugs to do this. Once again, they're making excuses because they themselves can't explain it. And they themselves have never given this kind of effort towards anything. I've told you guys what, it's not easy to do these things. It's not easy to be in shape. That's why most people in this world look like hell, ladies and gentlemen, and they're not in shape. That's why, because it's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. If it was easy, everybody would be in shape. Everybody would have six pack abs. Everybody would be the best version of themselves. Everybody would look great. But in reality, we all look like hell, or most of us look like hell in this world. So what do people do? They look for steroids. They look for drugs. They look for the energy drinks, the five hour energy, the monster energy, the Red Bulls, right? These kinds of things. This is where they look for their energy, right? People be like, oh man, how do you maintain that kind of body or whatever? And I've told you guys in the past, man, it's all about being active and making small nutritional choices. I am not perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'll eat snacks and all these things, but what do I always tell you guys though? I understand these things and I don't always do it. It's not the consistently I'm doing these things. So I've told you what, there were times where I go food shopping and I love the Entenmann's crumb cake. I always tell you guys the same story. I love Entenmann's crumb cake. But what did I tell you guys? I'll buy an Entenmann's crumb cake and eat the whole thing in one night. And the next morning I feel like garbage, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have the energy. I feel like crap. So what do I tell you? Now when I go food shopping, I'm not gonna buy the Entenmann's crumb cake. Maybe I'll wait a month before I buy it again or a couple of weeks before I buy it again because I'm listening to my body and I don't like the way that I feel. It was the same thing I was telling you guys in the video about the alcohol the other day. That was one of the main reasons why I stopped drinking alcohol. I did not like the way I felt. It took away from my energy. I did not feel like myself, the best version of myself. So when we think about people accusing me of taking steroids or people accusing me of using cocaine, I've never taken cocaine a day in my life, ladies and gentlemen. And trust me, I've had many opportunities to do these things, but I did the, I did the what? I just said no, I just said no. Once again, this goes to my upbringing and the values that I stand on. I can't stand on honor. I can't stand on integrity. I don't have any credibility if I'm out here telling you one thing, but I'm doing another. The things that I do every single day that I show you guys on my fitness videos, the exercises that I show you, these are the things that I'm doing. I'm not showing you these exercises just to show them to you. These are the things that I do every single day throughout my entire life, guys, for years now. These are the exercises that I utilize. This is the way that I train. These are the things that I think about. What do I tell you? Not to focus on how you look, 
to focus on how you feel. And I tell you guys, not to focus on the show muscles, but to be focused on the heart muscle. That's the most important muscle. And a lot of you guys will say I look great and you comment on me and I really appreciate that stuff, guys. But I want you guys to understand, I don't care about the way I look. I told you what, you will look a certain way if you're following those things. If you're living the active lifestyle and making small nutritional choices, you will look a certain way. No, you may not look like me. You might look better than me. But don't worry about me or how I look or how the next person looks. Worry about yourself and your journey. And like I said, and just being true to yourself. I will always be true to myself, ladies and gentlemen. This is how I was raised. So for all the LeBron James fans out there, I told you guys, I never crossed my sports and my fitness channel together. They're two separate entities for me. But there's been a crossover now because a lot of these people, these LeBron James fans, they can't explain my energy. So they'll just say, oh, this guy's always yelling. This guy's always doing this. How does he be able to do that? And the only way that they can explain it is by saying, oh, he must be on some kind of drug. That's the only way they can explain it. They don't understand that the energy that I have is natural. I've told you guys what, you get energy from the sun and you get energy from the food you eat. Or you don't get energy from the food you eat. If you're not eating good foods, you're not gonna get any energy from these things. Remember, alcohol gives you no energy. I've told you there's zero nutritional value, zero nutritional content in alcohol. So where's the energy coming from, ladies and gentlemen? Is there energy in that bagel? There's zero energy in that bagel. It's a big zero, ladies and gentlemen. Those sugary cereals, that syrup, right? Those, that soda you're drinking every single day that you don't realize, that's not giving you any energy, ladies and gentlemen. That's actually taking the energy away from you. That's hurting your energy levels. People not moving much, that takes away from your energy levels. Being lazy takes away from your energy levels. So what have I told you? You got people literally driving around parking lots for minutes at a time. Minutes. They're driving around parking lots because they want to find a, far, a closer place to park. Why? Because they're lazy. They don't have the energy, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, I've never done these things, ladies and gentlemen. I continue to make the smart nutritional choice. I continue to live the active lifestyle. And I continue to have the energy levels. Get out and get some sun. A lot of these people, these LeBron James fans... <laughs> They ain't getting outside. They're on them keyboard. They're always on the keyboard typing in your comment section, crying about things. So what do I respond to them? Go outside and get some exercise. Well, I tell them to go outside and get some sun because they don't have any energy. So they all, they, they explain my energy by that way. It's absolutely disgusting for people to accuse someone else of using drugs or steroids or any of these things without any kind of proof or anything of that sort, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I'm a regular, everyday person. I, don't, I, I mean, if you watch my channel, if you follow my channel, you understand 100%. I am no frills. I don't have money like that. Once again, I don't have status. I don't have a fancy job. I don't have a fancy house. I don't have a fancy car. I live check to check, ladies and gentlemen, literally check to check. I don't do this for money or fame. I'm doing this to help people. If I only helped one person make a difference in their life, make a change, then my channel was a success. It doesn't matter how many subscribers I get, how many views I get, none of this stuff matters to me. The only thing that matters is once again, living that lifestyle, right? Living the lifestyle, ladies and gentlemen, and once again, trying to help people to understand that they have to believe in themselves and they have their energy within them. I told you guys, when I went to the military, I did not realize the strength that I had inside of me. I did not know really how far I could be pushed until I went to the military. And all of a sudden I understood that I was a lot stronger than I realized mentally and physically. These are ones that something that the military brought out of me, right? They break you down to build you back up. And on my channel, that's where I try to get people to understand that they can be better every single day. And they don't have to li live in this lazy life, this lazy world. Right? I've told you guys what, it's not about living longer, it's about living better, right? A better quality of life is what we all should be hoping to be. And once again, why would I take drugs and do all these things? I have a family to worry about. I got a family to take care of, and I take that very seriously. If you guys, once again, if you guys know my channel, you guys know the deal, man. I do all of this stuff for my family, man, for the people around me to inspire them. How am I inspiring my family if I'm taking drugs, or I'm doing steroids, or I'm doing all this shady stuff behind their backs? That's not doing anything for my family. I told you, I want to keep myself in the best possible shape. I want to be on this earth as long as I can. Put the odds in my favor for my family. I want to be there for my wife, for my son, for my daughter. Like I said, for my brothers, for my friends. I want to be there as long as I can, man. And the only way I can do these things is if I continue to hold myself to these standards. And taking drugs or steroids, any of these kinds of things would not be me holding myself to that standard. Once again, I've never, I haven't drank alcohol in probably eight or nine years. So why the hell would I be taking cocaine? Why the hell would I be taking any of these kinds of drugs? Why would I be taking steroids? Once again, what is steroids doing for me? I'm not a competitive bodybuilder or any of these things. 
So me taking steroids would literally do nothing for me. I don't care about what I look like on stage. I don't care what I look like in the mirror. I don't care about any of these things. All I want to be able to do is feel good. When I wake up in the morning, I feel great. I wake up and I pop up out of bed, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of these LeBron James fans, a lot of these fools out here that accuse me of these kinds of things, when they wake up in the morning, they don't want to get up. They're hitting the snooze button, right? They're miserable. Their lives suck, man. And the only way they can explain it is by making excuses for themselves. That's all it is. LeBron James is one big excuse. His fan base, they're, all they do is make excuses, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even use an alarm clock in the morning. I wake up at 4 o'clock every single morning, ladies and gentlemen, even on vacation. I'm on vacation, and I still get up at 4 in the morning. Nothing changes for me. Right? Nothing changed. I've told you guys, you go to bed and you wake up at the same time every single day. That's part of the routine for me. The LeBron James fans, these goofs out here, they don't even make their beds in the morning. They don't even make their beds. Every single morning, I make my bed. That's how you start the day off on the good foot. I learned that in the military. Every morning, make your damn bed. That's how you start the morning off. That's the first thing you should be doing in the morning, ladies and gentlemen, is making your bed that sets your whole day up for success. Something that simple. And get up out of bed. You lose energy by hitting that snooze button. I've done videos on this. I don't hit the snooze button. I don't even use an alarm. The LeBron James fans, man, they're always worried about something else. They're always looking for an excuse. They're always looking for a way to explain something because they don't understand and they don't have that inside of them. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know to do on my channel, man. I've never taken any kind of steroid ever. I never would. Why? Like Once again, why would I? There's no benefit of me taking steroids. There's literally no benefit. Once again, I'm not here to look good on camera. I'm not here to be in a contest. I don't even train like a bodybuilder. To me, bodybuilding is ridiculous. And I tell people all the time, stop trying to train like a bodybuilder. That's a, like a, a very niche sport. Very niche. Like 0.1% of people are actually bodybuilders in this world, man. It, just because you take steroids does not make you a bodybuilder. Once again, steroids would do nothing for me. And cocaine is not the reason why I have the energy levels that I do. The reason why I'm able to do the things that I do on camera and the reason I'm able to talk the way that I talk and project the way that I'm able to project is one, because these are my genetics. This is who I am. Not everybody can do what I do. That's why it's called sports and fitness rants. A lot of people don't seem to understand that. They don't get the rants aspect of my channel. That's literally what it's about. There's no frills here. I don't have fancy editing or any of this stuff. Everything is right on the camera, ladies and gentlemen. I never edit this stuff. I never pre-record these things. I don't write this stuff down. I come on the camera and I explain to you guys whatever the topic is. Those are the facts, ladies and gentlemen. I would never have to take any kind of cocaine or any kind of energy drink to come on the camera. You know, people think that I'm literally doing stuff or taking energy drinks before I come on these shows. That's literally the complete opposite of what I do, ladies and gentlemen. Complete opposite of what I do. I never take anything before I go on these shows. And when people watch me during these shows, the funny thing is they'll call me unhinged and all this stuff. I've never cursed. I have over 2,000 videos. I think I may have cursed two times in all 2,000 videos. In all these live streams that I've done, I've never cursed on any of these live streams. I've never cursed at anybody. None of these things. So how unhinged could I really be if I'm able to control my language to that degree? Meanwhile, people will come on our show, we'll have guests come on our show, and they'll constantly cursing at us. Constantly cursing. Every other word of their mouth is a curse. You have professional athletes like a LeBron James. Every other word of his mouth is a curse because he's not intelligent enough to speak without cursing. Right? He seems pretty unhinged to me, LeBron James. Doesn't he seem unhinged? I don't know about me being unhinged. Once again, guys, like I said, man, I continue to live the same active lifestyle that I've always lived. Nothing has ever changed, man. And this will never be part of drugs or anything like that. It'll never be that way. So to all the LeBron James fans out there that have been accusing me of using steroids or cocaine, which is <laughs> completely outlandish to me, I would love for you guys to get some evidence of me using cocaine. Uh, go find my drug dealer or something like that. I would love to find this out, guys. Let me know when you do You can't do that. The funny thing is none of these people would ever say this to my face because they know I'd knock them right out. I'd punch you right in the nose. Once again, you're trying to slander my name with lies with no evidence. Right? Because what? You're making an excuse for yourself why you feel like crap, why you look like crap. That's on you. I've told you. The reason you look the way you do and, the feel, and you feel the way you do is on you. That's on you. It ain't got nothing to do with me, man. Don't be blaming me or trying to excuse the way that I'm doing things because you can't do those things. It's called hard work and determination, ladies and gentlemen. I guess I've been doing this for years. I didn't start this last month or last year or a couple of weeks ago. This is 20 plus years of me playing sports, of me doing exercises, things that I've learned in the military, always being active, never being lazy. I'm on vacation, still living the active lifestyle. I don't go around places and sit on my butt all day. This is not how I live my life, ladies and gentlemen. I don't smoke cigarettes. My parents never smoked cigarettes. I told you, I've never even seen my mother drink a drop of alcohol in all the years that I've been alive, guys. 43 years I've been alive. Never seen my mother drink alcohol. Not even one drop, guys. Not even champagne at a wedding. Never seen her do these things. So once again, this is the kinds of things that my parents, you know, showed me. 
Once again, these are the kinds of things that I want to show my children. You know what's funny? I remember my son, um, one time I was at a party and I was drinking a, uh, uh, a bottle. Uh, it was like a, um, uh, an old school soda bottle, right? It was like root beer or something like that. And I was drinking this at a party and my son came up to me. He was like, I don't know, four or five years old at the time. He came up to me and he asked me if I was drinking beer. And he looked at me with this crazy look in his face because he's never seen me drink beer. And he thought I was drinking beer because the bottle looked like a beer bottle or what he would have perceived to be a beer bottle. But he didn't know what it was. He's never seen a beer bottle because he's never seen me drink beer, ladies and gentlemen. Never seen me drink beer. So my son thought it was weird to see me drinking something like that or a bottle like that. I don't even drink soda around my kids. So when we think about these things, these are the kinds of things. This is the inspiration that I've left for my children. They've never seen me drink alcohol. They've never seen me. Right. So these are the kinds of things I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So you guys know to do on this channel. Once again, man, I not I try to cross the sports and the fitness aspect of my channel. I try to cross these together because they're two separate entities. But what's been going on lately on a lot of these live streams and a lot of my videos now is a lot of these weird LeBron James fans are trying to excuse my energy with me taking some kind of drug. And that's why I'm able to yell and do all these things on camera. And they like to use these terms that I'm crazy or I'm hyper or I'm unhinged. Meanwhile, I've never cursed at anybody. None of these things. I continue to shut people down with the facts and they have no answer for that. So what do they do now? Now they turn to the disgusting tactics. Once again, the tear down tactics, the personal attacks because they can't explain anything. All right. LeBron James, we all know is doing something. We all know LeBron James is doing something. He's been accused way more, has way more suspicion around him than I ever will have. But, but LeBron James fans, they're worried about me. You guys know that on this channel, man. I'm going to continue to live the active lifestyle. I'm going to continue to make the small nutritional choices. And I'm going to continue to inspire the people around me to be better. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's always been about on this channel. And you guys know about that.